नमस्कार सलाम याली मदद सत श्रीकाल हेलो टू कैलरी आप सबका स्वागत है हमारे प्रोग्राम कैलरी फोकस में आप देख रहे हैं पंजाबी नेशनल टेलीविजन मैं आपका होस्ट आपका दोस्त अमृत बराड़ आप सबका स्वागत करता हूं अपने इस प्रोग्राम में और आशा करता हूं कि आप सब खुश होंगे मस्त होंगे व्यस्त होंगे और स्वस्थ होंगे आज के स्पेशल प्रोग्राम में हमारे साथ एक बहुत ही अमेजिंग हस्ती जुड़ रही हैं जो कि हैं मिनिस्टर ऑफ फाइनेंस ऑफ अल्बर्टा और वो हमें बताएंगे कि क्वार्टर टू का जो फिजिकल ईयर है उसके अंदर क्या क्या चीज़ें बताई गई हैं और क्या क्या नई नई चीज़ें आने वाली हैं नेक्स्ट क्वार्टर में या इसमें क्या क्या हुआ है इस क्वार्टर के अंदर ताकि हमारे सब के पास अपडेट रहे और सिंपल भाषा में हम अपने लिस्नर्स और वीयर्स को समझा सके तो आइए मिलकर स्वागत करते हैं हमारे अपने ऑनरेबल मिस्टर ट्रैवल स्टोर्स का सर वेलकम टू द शो वाओ इट्स माय प्लेजर टू बी हियर थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर योर टाइम टुडे एंड आई वाज जस्ट टेलिंग आवर व्यूअर्स एंड लिसनर्स दैट हाउ यू विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन अस इन अ सिंपल वे बिकॉज़ अगेन देयर आर देयर दिस दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज अवेलेबल ऑनलाइन इन न्यूज़पेपर ऑन एनी अदर प्लेस बट when we hear it in a simple language then people who are you know new to this place um, and uh, you know they they don't have time to go to internet or uh, search those things we will be able to explain them in uh, easier ways sure no ha- happy to looking forward to the discussion thank you so much sir so to start with sir uh, our first major thing is that the the cost of living is going very high and we are still thinking as a common man that what will be the coming year will be for us like the there will be more taxes or how we'll be able to manage our expenses can you put a little bit a, a light on that and also give us some information about the physical quarter to uh, information about that please sir sure well you know i I've been clear in the past and and I deeply believe this the best thing governments can do during times of inflation is to spend carefully um borrow as little as possible and keep taxes low right sir and I I continue to believe that's the best government policy uh, excessive government spending ultimately exacerbates uh, inflation pressure in in the economy we've seen that federally right and um of course during times of inflation typically uh interest rates go up at the same time and and that's what's happening and so the province's cost of capital is going up and so we want to keep our borrowing at a minimum right and and we want to keep taxes low and and uh, we're working to do that of course back uh in june we suspended the fuel tax actually even earlier than that last spring we suspended the fuel tax and and brought in that program uh, to where every time energy prices rose right. then the fuel tax would be suspended <clears throat> that's uh, been that's provided real relief to all Albertans who drive a vehicle directly and it's provided uh, relief to all Albertans indirectly in that the cost of fuel contributes to the cost of groceries and other consumables that all Albertans utilize and need So that uh, that fuel tax suspension program has been an important program annualized it's 1.3 billion dollars of tax savings right um in in the event it's in place all year but uh oh there's a number of things that are important we are in a time of inflation and it's difficult for many families to make the end of the month what we've also done as a government really since day 1 and that was to position Alberta's economy for competitiveness Uh, we've really worked to position the economy for investment attraction economic growth which results in uh, ultimately job creation and we've seen that in the province in fact uh we've we've seen um a, well over a quarter of the nation's new jobs actually be created here in Alberta and we've only got about 12% of the nation's population so so we're exceeding the the national average for job creation at about 2 to 1 and that's a result in part of positioning the province for investment attraction and job creation right. and you know there's never been a better time in alberta um to find a job if you don't have one or to find a better job if you need a higher paying job right. and so that's certainly um i know many albertans will be taking a look at their options there and 
And my expectation is we're going to see wages start to creep up a little bit here, especially in 2023. And that will provide, you know, some additional relief uh, for Alberta families. The other, the other thing that we're doing, again, I talked about suspending the fuel tax. Uh, we've, um, we've proposed that the fuel tax suspension program will be made permanent. Right. And it can be a permanent feature in the province. So every time energy prices rise, right. Albertans can benefit from an owned resource and, uh, and they won't have to pay fuel tax. We've, we've indicated that from January 1st to June 30th, we will uh, suspend the fuel tax without the triggers. So regardless of where energy prices are, there will be no fuel tax for the first six months of 2023. And that will help all, all Albertans uh, with affordability. For the first I just six want, months of the year. Sorry to interrupt you over here, sir. I just wanted to clarify with our viewers, this fuel tax rebate, is it available in any other province in Canada? We, we, there, there are a couple of other provinces that have done something with their fuel tax. Ontario suspended part of their fuel tax, but no other province has taken the measures that we've taken. And that is completely spend, uh, suspending right. the fuel tax. Again, we can do that in Alberta because um, Albertans own the resource. And so when energy prices rise, then we receive as a government Right. Uh, non-renewable resource revenues or royalty revenues that right. offset what we would have other cl otherwise collected in the fuel tax. Right. And so by, by bringing this program in, it's not uh, creating more revenue instability for the government of Alberta. Uh, it's uh, we're able to maintain revenue predictability and at the same time ensure that Albertans are benefiting uh, from an owned resource yeah, in, in uh, effectively uh, in the form of a, of a fuel tax suspension. Right, sir. Right, sir. So there were a few uh, uh, quick facts uh, which I would like to you know, share with you and you can put some uh, light on that. The surplus for 22 to 23 is forecast at 12.3 billion. That's right. This is lower than 13.2 billion surplus estimated in the first quarter physical update at the end of August. So how this happened, like due to oil prices or demand, what exactly? Well, there, there's, there's a number of factors that went into the adjustments from Q1 to Q2, uh, third, you know, 13.2 billion to 12.3 billion. So a $900 million adjustment. Remember, we've also reported, um, included a provision for these affordability measures of 1.3 billion in, in this Q2 update. And so, that's increasing our expenditures um, that we're projecting for the year. So in spite of adding $1.3 billion right. in, in an affordability measure provision, our surplus is only dropping by 900 million. And that's that's because revenues actually um, are, well, are continuing strong. We're projecting even higher revenues than we were projecting in Q1. So there are a few things which uh, come up and the questions are there. Like, for example, one question which arise, arise was that provincial income tax policy costs Albertans more. How far it is true? Well, the, overall, the tax burden on Albertans is the lightest by far and away of any province in Canada. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, just a couple of examples. If, uh, if you're a family, um, uh, you know, family of four, living in BC or Alberta, making $75,000, uh, you're going to pay $1,900 uh, less tax if you live in Alberta, live and work in Alberta, than right. if you live in BC, $3,900 less than right. if you live in Ontario. There's just an example right. of the tax advantage we have in Alberta. We have very low personal income taxes. Uh, we have no sales tax here in the province, as of course, you know, we have no payroll tax, we have no capital tax, we have no land transfer tax. Right. And so we, we again, overall are the lowest tax jurisdiction um, here in the province of Alberta. Absolutely, sir. No, I totally agree with you because there are a lot of taxes which are in other provinces where we are, you know, in advantage, like provincial sales tax, PST is there in Ontario and other, other provinces where we are definitely, you know, uh, under benefit. But still people still feel that, you know, uh, something is uh, missing or, you know, something more should be done because as a human being, we need more, sir. 
and i totally understand that there is a limit to everything and uh, being in government and uh, being you know the leader you don't have a magical wand which can just go around and you know uh, things will happen there are different ways to settle down things there are different ways to uh, make things in a proper way now just as as an albertan i would like to ask you sir how how you think like how much we have come back to the normal normalcy where you know we 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 were there when uh, the uh, pandemic hit us now are we looking much better and we are moving towards progress well well we are and and i would suggest in the economy alberta's really struggled since 2015 of course we had um the energy you know price drop in in 2015 uh we had a a new ndp government at the time that increased taxes increased regulatory burden on albertans and uh effectively presided over the flight of capital out of this province by the tens of billions of dollars and with that you know um well over 100,000 lost jobs right so it's been a long road back uh from 2015 and uh of course in between there we had the pandemic and the you know massive energy price crash in 2020 and yet i have to say we've made great progress in spite of those challenges right now of course uh, alberta not only has a balanced budget but we're projecting 12.3 billion dollars in a surplus for the current year we're we're planning and projecting to pay down um our provincial debt by 13.4 or pardon me 13.2 billion dollars this year Right. which is very very significant and and very timely uh so that um again we if we don't have to go and borrow in capital markets with these high interest rates we're ultimately saving Albertans debt service costs and that means that those funds instead of going to you know eastern bankers uh right. in the form of interest payments they can be um you know provide used for programming healthcare education right here in the province of of Alberta and they can also go to ensure that we're keeping taxes low in the province. I really believe that government should have the lightest tax burden possible on on citizens and uh, and and we're working to manage our finances responsibly so Albertans can in fact have the lowest most competitive taxes possible. Amazing sir. There was another announcement made which was that uh there will be a legis- legislation next month to re-index both income tax brackets and benefit payments for seniors and severely handicapped can you put a little bit light on that sir sure well um again back in 2019 we inherited a huge fiscal challenge from our predecessors and and we had to make a number of um you know difficult decisions at the time to bring alberta's fiscal house in order to bring fiscal responsibility back to the province we We knew that continuing to borrow excessively ultimately downlay downloads our irresponsible decisions on on the next generation right. on our children and grandchildren and and we couldn't keep doing that and so of course we brought uh some discipline to our spending as a province right uh, we we also uh paused indexing on our income tax system and on on a number of our programs One thing we did at the time uh, I committed to re-indexing as soon as we had our fiscal house in order and in fact that's the case. Uh we're we're re-indexing our personal tax system of course effective January 1st 2022. Uh all Albertans will benefit uh from lower taxes as a result of that. Uh or all all Alberta taxpayers will benefit from a lower personal tax burden as a result of that re-indexing. and we're re-indexing our program certainly our Alberta seniors benefit program and our our age program uh and we will ensure that those programs uh, continue uh to effectively support our seniors and our most vulnerable at the highest levels of any province that's important to us as a government we know that it's important to Albertans to uh support the most vulnerable uh in a very significant way and by re-indexing those programs will will ensure that again Alberta is providing by far and away more support for instance to age recipients than any other province that's amazing sir so in a nutshell we can say that alberta's economy outlook outlook uh, you know remains solid but risks are there and we are going uh, into elections next year so it's a kind of very 
uh, you know, delicate situation where people are looking forward that, you know, we have bounced back and I totally agree with you. There is buzz in, in the people. <clears throat> people are, you know, going out, spending. People are, you know, reaching out in different ways to get out of uh, that pandemic era, which, has, uh, which was there. Now, we are looking for support from our government, from our leaders, so that, you know, we can also have a good life because people have lost so many things uh, during the pandemics. And I think you guys are our leaders who will take us to a better future that I, I can say. Uh, now, moving uh, forward, sir, what are your views and what are you, what is your message for the Albertans, sir? Well, look, look I, I, I'm very, very positive about the future prospects uh, of Albertans in this province. I'm a lifelong Albertan. I've seen the ups and downs, the ebb and the flow in our economy. And um, I have to say now that I'm incredibly optimistic for Alberta's economy, for the opportunity that, that awaits Albertans here over the next five to 10 years. Not only do we see strength in our energy industry, agriculture sector, forestry sector, kind of the traditional resource-based sectors in the province, but we're seeing our economy diversify at rates I've not seen in my lifetime. And that's good news for the next generation of Albertans who perhaps want a career in financial services or the tech sector, or maybe in the manufacturing uh, industry or, or aerospace or travel or tourism. Uh, we're, we're seeing investment pour into this province across sectors. We're seeing our economy continue to diversify. The film and television industry has grown almost tenfold in the last few years. There's tens of billions of dollars lined up to come into our petrochemical manufacturing sector. And look, um, we still have, uh, in spite of uh, our inflationary environment, which of course the whole world's experiencing, Alberta remains one of the most affordable uh, provinces across the country. Housing remains relatively affordable here in Alberta. And you know what? Alberta is the best place to be. I totally agree with you, sir. And thank you, thank you, thank you for today's time because it brings a little bit more clarity to people that we are moving forward with certain possibilities that we will be able to save few bucks for in our saving account to you know spend it on us or maybe in the rainy days. So please, please keep on updating us with the, uh, the new uh, policies which you are bringing for the Albertans so that they have a better idea and a, a, you know a clear picture of what's happening thank you so much for your time today sir yeah th thanks for inviting me on you take care sir thanks a lot i know so ye the hamare apne mr toes or uh, honorable minister jinhone hame bataya ke aane wale time mein jo hamari economy hai wo definitely आगे की तरफ बढ़ने वाली है लेस टैक्सेस होंगे और जो हमारा फ्यूल टैक्स एग्जामेशन है वो हमारे चलता रहेगा ताकि हम थोड़े बहुत पैसे वहाँ पर सेव कर सके मैं यही कह सकता हूँ कि अल्बर्टाज इकोनॉमी आउटलुक रिमेन सॉलिड बट रिस्क आर इंक्रीजिंग हाई इन्फ्लेशन है राइजिंग इंटरेस्ट रेट्स हैं और काफ़ी कुछ अनरेस्ट में है लेकिन स्टिल हमें आगे बढ़ना है और कोशिश यही करनी है कि जो हमारे सामने मुश्किलें हैं उसको हम मिलजुल कर सॉल्व कर सकें अल्बर्टा गवर्नमेंट का मैसेज यही है कि वो इस जो प्रॉब्लम्स हैं उसमें हमारे साथ हैं और आगे बढ़ चढ़ कर जितना भी हो सकेगा हमारे लिए वो बेहतर जो हमारा कल है उसके लिए बेहतर काम करेंगे सो थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग कैलगरी फोकस ऑन पंजाबी नेशनल टेलीविजन मिलते हैं अगले हफ्ते एक नए गेस्ट के साथ और नई इन्फॉर्मेशन के साथ Keep on watching Punjabi National Television. Take care.